What is nature's call? For the truth.
Hey folks, Zavo here, transmitting from, well, somewhere safer. Ever been to the Plaguelands? West or East, pick your poison. Figured with real estate prices booming elsewhere, there'd be a killing to make here. Pun intended. Scenic views of the haunting past was my tagline. I even threw in free anti-zombie kits, sold the plot to an adventurer, but he returned it when I realized haunting past wasn't metaphorical. Good thing I kept the deposit. Illidan's gift, waters from the well of eternity. The few night elves that survived that horrific explosion rallied together on crudely made rafts and slowly made their way to the only landmass in sight. Somehow, by the grace of Alun, Malfurion Taranda and Smarius had survived the great sun. The weary heroes agreed to lead their fellow survivors and establish a new home for their people. As they journeyed in silence, they surveyed the wreckage of their world and realized that their passions had wrought the destruction all around them. Though Sargeras and his legion had been ripped from the world by the well's destruction, Malfurion and his companions were left to ponder the terrible cost of victory. There were many highborn who did survive the cataclysm unscathed. They made their way to the shores of the new land with the other night elves. For Malfurion has trusted the Highborn's motivations. He was satisfied that they could cause no real mischief without the Well's energies. As the weary mass of Night Elves landed upon the shores of the new land, they found that the holy mountain, Hyjal, had survived the catastrophe. Seeking to establish a new home for themselves, Malfurion and the Night Elves climbed the slopes of Hyjal and reached its windswept summit. As they descended into the wooden bowl, nestled between the mountain's enormous peaks, they found a small and lake. To their horror, they found the lake's waters had been fouled by magic. Illidan, having survived the Sundering as well, had reached Hyjal's summit long before Malfurion and the Night Elves. In his mad bid to maintain the flows of magic in the world, Illidan had poured his vials, which contained the precious waters from the Well of Eternity, into the mountain. The well's potent energies quickly ignited and coalesced into a new Well of Eternity. The exultant Illidan, believing that the new well was a gift to future generations, was shocked when Melfurion hunted him down. 
Malfurion explained to his brother that magic was innately chaotic, and that its use would inevitably lead to widespread corruption and strife. Still, Illidan refused to relinquish his magical powers. Knowing full well where Illidan's ruthless schemes would eventually lead, Malfurion decided to deal with his power-crazed brother once and for all. With Cenarius' help, Malfurion sealed Illidan within a vast underground Barrow prison, where he would remain chained and powerless until the end of time. To ensure his brother's containment, Malfurion empowered the young warden, Maev Shadowsong, to be Illidan's personal jailer. Concerned that destroying the new well might bring about an even greater catastrophe, the Night Elves resolved to leave it be. However, Malfurion declared that they would never practice the arts of magic again. Under Cenarius' watchful eye, they began to study the ancient arts of druidism that would enable them to heal the ravaged earth and regrow their beloved forests at the base of Mount Hyjal. Ladies, gents, and goblins, it's advertisement o'clock. Ever wondered how to get your stuff heard by folks who probably want to buy it? Ever look, Broadcasting Co. is here for you. Now, let's get to the good stuff. The products you never knew you needed. Is your goblin made machinery acting up again? Fear not. With the Duratar Labor Union's Goblin Safety Whistle, you can alert everyone in a 10 mile radius. Earplugs and spontaneous running advice. Don't get crispy under the tropical sun. Lather on our Gilligan Mile SPF 5000 sunscreen. Also doubles as a cooking oil for those campfire fish fries. Because who does not want a multifunctional sludge?
but brings you Azeroth, hold on to your helms, because it's that time again. Everlook Broadcasting Co. is about to drop the hottest deals and products of the week. If you got something to sell, why aren't you on the list? And now, roll the adverts. Do you find brews from other lands a wee bit watery? Time to upgrade with Grimpool Thunderbrew Stealth Collection. Warning, don't plan any dungeon raids after a pint. Or five. Salutations, seekers of knowledge. The Arcane Wonders Academy invites you to unlock the secrets of the arcane arts. Our distinguished instructors will guide you in harnessing the power of magic, just as we have done for generations. Join us and embrace your destiny as a master. I mean, student of the arcane. <laughs> Greetings, future coffin connoisseurs. Coffin and Casket Crafts is your go-to destination for the afterlife's finest wooden resting places. Our caskets come in various designs, including the Rest in Pieces model. Each one is lovingly crafted, and we even offer the device screaming at the inscriptions. Because when you go, your final resting place should say it all.
It's your trusty goblin voice, Zappo. You know, raiding's a tricky business. Ever wondered how to stay in your raid group without getting the boot? Sure, potions, buffs, and fancy moves are all great. But here's a little Zappo secret. Just become the raid leader. Who's gonna kick you off then, eh? Keep on leading, and if all else fails, bribe him with some of my patented Zappo empowering snacks.
Jesus' name.
The Betrayer Ascendant, Illidan Stormrage. During the Legion's invasion of Ashenvale, Illidan was released from his Barrow prison after 10,000 years of captivity. Though he sought to appease his comrades, he soon reverted to true form, and soon the energies of a powerful warlock artifact known as the Skull of Illidan. By doing so, Illidan developed demonic features and vastly magnified power. He also gained some of Gul'dan's old memories, especially those of the tomb of Sargeras, the island dungeon rumored to hold the remains of the dark titan, Sargeras. Bristling with power and free to roam the world once more, Illidan set out to find his own place in the great scheme of things. However, Kill Jaden confronted Illidan and made him an offer he could not refuse. Kill Jaden was angered by Archimonde's defeat at Mount Hyjo, but he had greater concerns with vengeance. Sensing that his creation, the Lich King, was growing too powerful to control, Kill Jaden ordered Illidan to destroy Ner'zhul and put an end to the undead scourge once and for all. In exchange, Illidan would receive untold power and a true place amongst the remaining lords of the Burning Legion. Illidan agreed and immediately set out to destroy the frozen throne, the icy crystal cask in which the Lich King's spirit resided. Illidan knew that he would need a mighty artifact to destroy the frozen throne. Using the knowledge he had gained from Illidan's memories, Illidan decided to seek out the two Sargeras and claim the Dark Titan's remains. He called in some old highborn deaths and lured the serpentine Naga from their dark undersea lairs. Led by the cunning witch Lady Vosh, the Naga helped Illidan reach the Broken Isles, where Sargeras's tomb was rumored to be located. As Illidan set out with the Naga, Warden Maiev Shadowsong began to hunt him. Maiev had been Illidan's jailer for 10,000 years and relished the prospect of recapturing him. However, Illidan outsmarted Maiev and her watchers and succeeded in claiming the Eye of Sargeras despite their efforts. With the powerful eye in his possession, Illidan traveled to the full magician city of Dolgo. Strengthened by the city's late power lines, Illidan used the eye to cast a destructive spell against the Lich King's citadel of Ice Crown in distant Northrend. Illidan's attack shattered the Lich King's defenses and ruptured the very roof of the world. At the final moment, Illidan's destructive spell was stopped when his brother Malfurion and the priestess Tyrande arrived to aid Maiev. Me. Knowing that Kil'jaeden would not be pleased with his failure to destroy the Frozen Throne, Illidan fled to the barren dimension known as Outland, the last remnants of Draenor, the Orcs' former homeworld. There he planned to evade Kil'jaeden's wrath and plan his next moves. After they succeeded in stopping Illidan, Malfurion and Haranda returned home to Ashenvale Forest to watch over their people. Maiev, however, would not quit so easily, and followed Illidan to Outland, determined to bring him to justice. Ladies, gents, and goblins, it's advertisement o'clock. Ever wondered how to get your stuff by folks who probably want to buy it? Everlook Broadcasting Co. is here for you. Now, let's get to the good stuff. Oh, products you never knew you needed. Don't get crispy under the tropical sun. Lather on our Gilligan Isle SPF 5000 sunscreen. Also doubles as a cooking oil for those campfire fish fries. Because who does not want a multifunctional sludge? Every goblin knows the importance of preparation. Grab the Goblin DVD Survival Kit. Includes a white flag, a not the face sign, and a mirror to distract with your dazzling looks. Because sometimes it's just not your day.
greetings. Azeroth, Sappho's back with a tale of treasures, tunnels, and tiny mistakes. Gather round for my dead mines debacle. Thought I'd struck gold there. Turns out goblins and mines, not a good mix. Especially when you mistake dynamite for a candle.